Hey there, Josh here from Limbo CMS. In this video, we'll be going over what is a CMS and how does it work. CMSs are so important for facilities to use today in order to make their workflows more efficient. And there's many ways that they do that because they're usually all encompassing products with many different features, being able to handle everything from preventive maintenance to asset lifetime value for you. So let's go ahead and see all the different features of what a CMS can offer so they can help you understand the cost benefit analysis of everything that you're working with so you can better work with stakeholders. So excited to dive right in. A CMS stands for Computerized Maintenance Management System. It is a type of enterprise software that helps businesses to plan, organize, track, and optimize all of their maintenance operations. A CMS is used in different industries, including manufacturing, hospitality, healthcare, property management, transportation, oil and gas, and more. Modern systems include a variety of modules that allow managers to coordinate all the chaos of maintenance work in one single spot. So this is one of the huge benefits of using a CMS is that rather than having all your tasks using different spreadsheets and being located maybe it's all over your office it's literally located all in one screen so you can access anything you need very quickly to get stuff done and that makes it easy to ensure that the right thing is getting executed at the right time for all your equipment and facilities and at the end of the day that's super super important because if you're not able to complete tasks on time it sets bad expectations one with stakeholders and two with understanding how you can be proactive in emergency situations or trying to implement preventive maintenance and just not getting there in time. So core CMS modules, we have the work order management. That's the main part of every CMS. It streamlines how people submit work requests, how supervisors track work orders, and how technicians carry out preventive maintenance work. And then we have asset management. This module helps you to efficiently monitor the conditions of your assets. The more assets you have, the harder it is to save, organize, and use asset information. And it's not just the more assets you have, it's also the more different that they are as well. So if you are working with many different types of assets, it's going to make everything a little harder to manage. So you need a better system in place. And filing cabinets and paper records won't do this for you. So that way, having an asset management module in a CMS software is going to make it easy for you to deal with this information in just a few clicks. Now let's talk about inventory management. So a few things are more frustrating than not having the spare parts needed to fix the machine everyone is depending on. And maybe it's because you're doing bad projections of when machines are going to break down and you just don't know what spare parts you need to keep. Well, that's where a CMS can come in handy because it gives you full control over spare parts inventory, which can result in cutting spare parts spend by up to 23%. And then we have vendor management. So every organization has some specialized maintenance work that has to be carried out by third party contractors. So think of HVAC inspections. This module gives managers options to track their work. It's very important that you can understand the cost benefit of working with vendors because they're often also one of the first people to get cut when the company is trying to reduce facility maintenance costs. And for the most part, they're almost always trying to do that. So having a good analysis with your different vendors through a CMS system is going to help a ton. And then we have maintenance reports. It's such a key part of CMS solutions. A good system will do the heavy lifting for you and your team won't need a data science degree to gather important insights. And we have predictive maintenance. Um, predictive maintenance is industry 4.0 in and IoT. It continues to grow and it's pretty crazy because it's really in its infancy and it can mean a lot of different things in terms of what it can do and it's pretty much endless. Very excited to see where that industry ends up. And it's expected that CMS solutions will offer predictive capabilities and integration with condition monitoring sensors. I don't know how advanced this will get over time, but I'm excited to see where it goes. So how does the CMS system work? So CMS systems are cloud-based solutions. As cloud-based solutions, they integrate all maintenance data and make it available for all team members to view from any desktop or smartphone. Any changes that are made in the database are updated in real time for everyone. So if a maintenance manager changes the priority of a certain work order, technicians assigned to that work order will see the change immediately. So and then we have instant notifications. 
When a technician closes a work order, the maintenance manager will instantly receive an email or push notification updating the status of the task. And desktop interface and mobile versions, like most apps, it has a robust interface with lots of features when logged in on your PC or your Mac. And not just having a robust interface with lots of features, but also being able to easily navigate that interface to get exactly what you need is super important, especially also on your mobile device. That way technicians can use it out in the field. And we have automated scheduling. So using calendars, maintenance managers can automate PM scheduling to be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or based on events or meter readings. And custom reports. The system uses business intelligence to organize data into custom reports, which gives maintenance managers the ability to break down the reports in thousands of different ways to find out the root cause of just about any problem. This level of automation gives everyone access to the most up-to-date information, reduces the chance for human error, improves response times, speeds up maintenance workflows, and enables managers to track and analyze an insane amount of data you wouldn't have access to otherwise. Here are some top benefits of using a CMS. One over some benefits to an extent already, but this will help give you some better insight from an actual data point of view, which is always helpful when you're looking to talk to stakeholders if you want to convince them on using a CMS software or you're just looking to have some data in your back pocket for when people bring up the topic. CMS software improves productivity in an organization, which ultimately causes increased wrench time and less overtime, resulting in your technicians being able to do more with their time. So on average, what a study found that Limble conducted is that it results in a 28% increase in productivity. This is absolutely huge. And then we also have deep insights into all aspects of maintenance work. So this might be the largest benefit of using a CMS. Having access to in-depth structured maintenance data is really a game changer. For example, instead of just seeing that the cost of your spare parts increased, you can check how and where they were used and by who with a couple of clicks. Now, decreased downtime, which is super, all these are super valuable, which is great. So if you if you're in maintenance, having a CMS is like a dream because you're able to handle all these different areas and really see significant improvements. So decrease downtime, which results in higher production, less weight, less waste, happy bosses, and more. There's typically a 32% reduction downtime after implementing a CMS. And we have better spare parts forecasting, which we had talked about a little bit earlier. That leads to fewer emergency shipments and less excess inventory, which reduces your inventory costs. And we have close to a 16% increase in asset lifespan, which is just huge, saves you a lot of money. And if we know one thing is that executives are always interested in lowering the cost of maintenance. So this is huge for them and will make them look better and hopefully get you promoted. And alongside those direct savings, there are some tangible benefits that come with a CMS, such as more engaged maintenance staff, happy users of the facility. Those are pretty hard to measure sometimes in terms of financial return, but they are important to keep in mind. If you're going to use a CMS, it's important to understand the ROI. That way you can help talk to stakeholders and whoever it is to convince them on using a CMS software, or if you're looking to switch CMS software, this will also help. A CM, CMS provider should already be able to supply you with case studies, an ROI calculator, and a wealth of other information to help you convince whoever you need to that using a CMS makes sense. And if they don't, it's probably better you rethink your choice of a CMS vendor and you go with somebody more credible. If you want to work on your own ROI, you can use this formula listed here, but really you only need to be able to answer two questions. And that is how much money can be saved after implementing a CMS what is the total cost of implementing and running your chosen CMS software? Now, implementation is easier done than ever before, which is great. And just because a learning curve is almost non-existent, I think for most CMS software today, it shouldn't take anyone on your team more than 15 minutes to understand how to use it. With that said, there's all these reasons that implementation might fail. So here are some of those reasons. And what's funny is that not that long ago, the CMS implementation fail rate was almost at 80%. So that's crazy. Four out of five CMS implementations would fail. But that was a long time ago. And what we see today is that the new implementation fail rate is only 2%. So it went down from 80 to 2% because the software today is so much better. So if you've had a bad experience in the past, don't let it jade you because the industry has obviously changed significantly. And let's take a look at some of the main reasons that CMS implementation 
might fail. So one is that the software is too difficult to use. Now, this is what the world of CMS has changed to an easier to use software, which has solved this problem to a large extent. And that's what makes it really exciting is that the number one problem that people had is already solved. And when we look at number two, the team is not willing to put the time in to get it going. So this is with everything. This is a problem that's still going to happen today. You got to get buy-in from your team in order to make this investment worth it. And we have maintenance managers don't plan appropriately. It happens sometimes where they're like, hey, let's do this. Maybe they went through the sales process and they were sold too early before they're even ready to implement. And the CMS is just sitting there. And maybe it's because they don't have an understanding of what problems their facility has because they don't have it all the way down to specifications, enough data, and instead it's too high level for them to go ahead and implement a CMS. And they're not sure on all the equipment they own and also what maintenance tasks they need to be working on automating within preventive maintenance. And then we also have management isn't bought in. So everybody on the team from technicians, engineers, the maintenance manager is bought in, but now they need to convince the maintenance director and that just doesn't happen. So it's hard to do that if you know some executives aren't bought in. Everybody has to be bought in with new software in order for it to work. The last one, which is the team isn't bought in. So, hey, you're excited about it, but your team just doesn't care. Um, that's hard to deal with and it can be very difficult to get your team to buy in and make sure they do it. Oftentimes, it's just going to include developing training programs and making sure everybody attends. So how to get the most out of a CMS software? First, you want to experiment all features offered. And you may not use all the features, but it's important to know whether they can benefit you or not. So play around and see where you can get value from it. And one of the cool things about working with a software company that's growing is that you can request features and say, hey, like, this feature doesn't really help me, but if you added this, that would really help me. Can you do that? And sometimes they can give you a timeline on that. And then you know they'll get it done in the next three months, maybe six months, and they're working on making your job a little easier. So that's always great to have that type of relationship with your software company. And then you wanna make sure that you correct mistakes early on. So putting mistakes in there into a system that you're going to use long-term helps compound errors and you just want to avoid that as much as possible. And it's just something to keep in mind. And of course, measuring and improving. Most of the work is automated when companies use a CMS, but that doesn't mean managers can use a set and forget type approach. So you always have to be updating it with new data. The reporting functions are there to help managers take conclusions and iterate that process and improve their maintenance management system. So don't just throw it in there. The idea is for it to give you feedback so you know where to better deal with your assets and better work with them. And we also have uh, the CMS vendor customer success team. So this is something I referred to a little bit earlier is that when you go and work with the CMS software, they're going to give you a customer success manager, which helps you use the software better. And it's very important that you use that you use that resource in order to get the most out of all the features and modules because that person is an expert in the software already. And of course, um, ensure proper training. So just wanna reinforce this point. Training doesn't always have to be done in person. It could be done via Zoom, Google Hangouts. It could also just be done one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if your team is hard to convince, you don't have a big team, then maybe you just take them one-on-one -on -one and you walk them through the software. And that's how you do it. I hope that this video provided you a great explanation of what you're looking for in terms of understanding a CMS system. And ultimately, if it's something that your organization can benefit from. And if you wanna try out Limbo CMS, you can start with a 30 day free trial, which makes your life a little bit easier when you're looking to test out the software and see if it's right for you. You can also request a demo so we can go ahead and walk you through the software as well. And if you're not quite sure or you're, it's not the right time to make a decision um, and you just want to ask questions about your maintenance needs, you can always reach out to us. Excited for you to be on this journey to help better maintain a more efficient facility and organization and wishing you the best of luck. Cheers.